Dzień dobry, cześć, and hello. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about five differences between Poland and USA with all things fall. I made a video in the summer about the differences then between our two countries, and I figured every single season I would just make a new video like this. So anyways, guys, let's just get started. All right, so the first one on my list is haunted houses, and I'm pretty sure this is really just non-existent in Poland, and if it is, it's just not popular at all. Like, no one goes to it, and I'm pretty sure horror in general is not really a thing, and this also kind of ties in Halloween in general. It's just not really a thing in Poland. So how it works here in the US, especially with haunted houses, is basically it's like this commercialized event. It's kind of like an amusement park, basically, where you go through these different houses or, you know, cornfields or whatever, stuff like that. And basically there are people in there that will like jump out and scare you or there's animatronics that are built into the house that will scare you. And I actually just got back from one. It's called Field of Screams and it's like one of the most popular in the US and basically Basically, you just go through these different houses that are usually themed in different ways like there's an asylum one there's like a, a hospital one and so all of those there are basically ones that you just walk through and then you basically see these different things and you know these different people will jump out and scare you but then there's also another one where you ride on like a hayride and this is also really popular outside of haunted houses basically where you will like you know visit a cornfield or something like that and you will ride on a tractor and you'll sit on hay basically in the back it's called like a hayride and you basically you just drive around and either sometimes you go to like a cornfield or either a pumpkin patch it's quite different but i'll get to that in later points but basically you just ride along on the hayride and different things will come out and scare you and stuff honestly it's a lot of fun it's honestly something i really like about the u.s especially during fall it's like we have so many different events like haunted houses to go to so yeah it's just something that i noticed was just not a thing in poland i know there are those like lock rooms where you are stuck inside of a house or or like a room and then you have to find certain clues and codes to get your way out and we have those as well in the u.s of course but haunted houses are just not really a thing in poland and i'm pretty sure horror is just really not as popular as it is in the u.s in general so yeah this was definitely a big difference that i kind of learned uh going to poland and talking to polish people so that brings me into my next point and that is day of the dead and this was something that i thought was like a big celebration event once i heard this in poland i thought it was you know something like in mexico Mexico where people are happy and drinking and partying and you visit graves but it's also more of like in a happy note and like a good vibe but in Poland it's not really that case so I forgot to mention this but Halloween is the 31st of October and Day of the Dead in Poland which is something that uh, we don't really celebrate here in the US Day of the Dead is November 1st. So as far as I know, Day of the Dead is basically a day where families will visit their ancestors' graves or their relatives, family members' graves, friends' graves, all of that, and they will basically visit their graves in the course of a couple of days, I'm pretty sure. I know it's always on the 1st of November, so a lot of people will visit graves then, but I know with, you know, the current circumstances, it's a little bit different, and I'm sure people are visiting a little bit earlier or later, because I'm pretty sure that graveyards get very, very popular during this time, and there are just tons of people there this was something that was definitely shocking to me and i'm pretty sure what you're supposed to do is give like flowers or a lantern to the grave and you're basically supposed to kind of remember them i'm pretty sure that's how it works and this was something that's definitely shocking to me because you know at first once i heard it i was thinking you know day of the dead in mexico like a party and but no it's really not it's more of a you know a time to just remember people who have died that you used to know all right so my third point on this list is pumpkins and corns so it's extremely popular here in the US to go to like a corn maze and do like different things with corn and stuff like that. Also, there's many events once you go to like cornfields, like for corn mazes, like bobbing for apples. And that's basically where you have like a bucket of water and there's like apples in it and you have to like dump your head to get the apple and you can't use your hands at all. That's like an extremely popular event as well as, you know, corn mazes in general, like just trying to find your way through a corn maze. That's also extremely popular. Popular. and then as well as pumpkin everything i'm talking pumpkin patches where you ride a hayride and find a pumpkin to then carve and put on your doorstep as a decoration for Halloween or pumpkin pies, pumpkin lattes, pumpkin coffee, pumpkin ice cream, pumpkin candy. For some reason, like it's just so popular to have pumpkin everything. I mean, even pumpkin cereal. Okay. I'm talking pumpkin 
everything, all right? Whatever you can think of, pumpkin, okay? I don't really know why it's so popular, but it's definitely so popular. And I'm guessing with, you know, like Starbucks, like having pumpkin spice lattes, it's not really a real pumpkin. It's more of like an artificial pumpkin pie type of flavor. And when I was talking to my girlfriend about this, she told me that pumpkins are really just not that popular in Poland. Like pumpkin pie is not really a thing. And like it, you know, especially like it is in the US. So yeah, this was something that I thought was definitely different between our two countries. And then the fourth point on my list is Thanksgiving. So this is definitely one of the biggest holidays in the US of our many holidays. I know it sometimes feels like there's a day for everything in the US, you know, a holiday for this, a holiday for that. But Thanksgiving is definitely one of the biggest. It's basically just as big as Christmas, really. And so yeah, this is always on the Thursday, the last Thursday of November. And then after this Thursday, there is always Black Friday, which, you know, is not really a thing anymore. I think with a lot of companies, like a lot of companies now, especially with the current circumstances, are not really doing it anymore. And also now it's more of Cyber Monday. That's more popular. I'm pretty sure now is just buying everything online, like with Amazon. So yeah, Thanksgiving is really a time that I definitely look forward to. It's a time where I can see my family and just eat a ton of food. All right. That's, you know, that's what we love. That's what Americans love. And so this meal is actually different than Christmas, at least with me and my family. Uh, with Christmas, for example, I will usually have like ham and a couple of other things like that, but it's not as big as the Thanksgiving meal. So Thanksgiving is usually like turkey stuffing, which is like bread bits that are like steamed as well as cranberry sauce, pies of all sorts, mashed potatoes, gravy, basically all of the American foods that you could ever think of are really there. Like the home style cooking, American foods green bean casserole and you know a bunch of other different vegetable dishes as well so yeah that's very popular here in the u.s and usually it's always those types of food i mean i've been to a couple of different families thanksgivings and it's honestly really mostly the same so yeah overall it's really just a fun time and with my family we only drink wine really at the table we're not really drinking beer or vodka or like any other liquor or whatever with most other families usually there's beer involved as well but that's really it it's not not really like a heavy drinking day at least with my family so i can't really speak on other families with that all right so my last point today is going to be weather and darkness so in poland i see here that the sunset is actually an hour ahead of where i am currently in the u.s so that's one thing to note i definitely noticed that when i was there in the winter that it gets darker a lot sooner than what i'm used to and that's just because i'm more south longitudinally i guess is, is the correct word in this case and yeah so it's something that definitely surprised me was that it gets it's much darker in Poland and I cannot imagine being in a place like northern Finland Sweden or Norway I feel like it would be just pitch black all winter and I would probably go crazy so yeah that's just something that I definitely noticed and I also feel like in the fall it rains a little bit more in Poland I feel like it's raining and it's cold and it's damp and dark I feel like it's more of that in Poland than what it is in the US in the US I just feel like it's more of like always sunny especially in a transition month like October October, it's usually always, you know, a flat 70 degrees, at least here in Maryland, as well as it being always sunny and having no humidity and the, you know, the leaves on the trees are always like an orange or red and it's just absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I know this can definitely change because October here has seen snow as well. It can be a major transition month and it can just be, you know, drastically different between the days. And this is obviously the same in Poland as well. So just bear that in mind. I know it's quite different every single year at least so anyways guys that was the five differences between poland and usa with all things fall these were some of the major differences that i could think of between the two countries so if you have any more let me know in the comment section down below and i would love to hear you guys's reactions and thoughts and comments so anyways guys that's pretty much it for this video and i will catch you in the next one